serve, uh, the better off you'll be. The flip side is the rider that we've got on our screen, screen on the left, Jeffrey Hurlings, is pretty much known as being the greatest sand rider on earth right now. I don't think he looks efficient at all. He's just so gnarly. He's just, I think he's just that fit to where that he's just, he can physically ride this machine in such a way um, that it, he doesn't worry about conserving energy because he's just, uh, you know, he's just gnarly. Yeah. Paul Ann around the outside of Monticelli and then loses that position immediately to the Italian. These guys fighting over eight. Hurlings intent there in orange. Yeah, the tough part for Hurlings, he sees he's been in traffic the entire race, and he really hasn't been able to open it up yet. He's really not even turning the elite level laps that we're seeing. Ooh. Oh, nice move there. But but he's doing what he was doing a 150, which was the same as the leaders, right yeah. there around the same pace. Now with a clear track, as he gets further towards the front, it'll be a little more open, right? Not as many slow riders, so his lap time should be a little quicker. This is Hurlings on Paul Land. He jumps across as Paul Land goes to the outside here, left the door wide open. Well, you're only going to take one route there, aren't you? The shortest if you're the number four of Hurlings. Yeah, yeah. Right. Got a question for you. Last year, Redbud qualifying race, Jeffrey Hurlings went down in the first turn, came from last to first. And he didn't make a great start here. He's not going to make it to the uh, the top spot with six minutes to go. No, no, definitely won't. No, Different uh, rider altogether because he's still not 100%. Absolutely, is he? yeah. We've seen him. He hasn't been dominant. Sure, he's won the last two GPs, but it, it was a last lap pass in both rounds that got him the overall win. It's interesting. This is the sand, so it's going to help him versus last year, but I don't think he's still 100% yet as much as he wanted to be 100%. So can he find a way to offset, you know, whatever their qualifying position is yesterday? Because I, a, a start like this tomorrow, he will not win, I don't believe. No. And uh, here he is passing Monticelli. So he moves up into eighth place. So right now we've got Jeremy Sewer leading by just about 1.7 seconds over Geiser. Van Horbeek is third for Belgium, Spain. Prado is four. Anderson US is fifth. Ferris Australia is sixth. Banks and Sweden seventh. Uh, Hurlings now eighth for the Netherlands. Monticelli nine of Italy and ten is Paul Land of France, the defending champions. Now I never got a chance to ride this event on American soil, but I, I wonder what this is like 